If we apply the method of completing the square to the general quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, where a is non-zero, we obtain the quadratic formula x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. When using the quadratic formula, it's very important to write the equation in the standard form that is in this form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. The reason is that if it is written in this form, the coefficients a, b, and c can be determined accurately. Now let's illustrate the use of the quadratic formula with examples. Example. Use the quadratic formula to solve one x squared minus eight x equal to thirty three and two four x squared plus fifteen x minus four equal to zero. So we will apply the quadratic formula to these equations. Now let's start with the first one. Solution. The first equation is x squared minus 8x equal to 33. Now we have to put it in this form. This will be x squared minus 8x minus 33 equal to 0. So we can see here that a is equal to 1. a is the coefficient of x squared. Then b, b is the coefficient of x. b is equal to minus 8. While c, which is the constant term, is equal to minus 33. So now we have all the coefficients. We can now go ahead to use the quadratic formula. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So this is equal to minus b is minus minus 8 plus or minus square root of b squared, that is minus 8 squared minus 4a, a is 1, so we have 1 here. C is minus 33. We have minus 33 here. All divided by 2A. A is 1. We will multiply by 1. So this is equal to minus times minus is plus. So we have 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 squared is 64 minus times minus is plus 4 times 1 times 33 is equal to 
132 divided by 2. So this gives us 8 plus or minus root 64 plus 132 will give us 196 all divided by 2. Now we need to find the, the square root of 196. 196 is a perfect square, so its square root is 14. So we have equal to 8 plus or minus 14 divided by 2. So this will be 8 plus 14 all over 2 or 8 minus 14 all over 2. So if we add here, we will have 22. 22 divided by 2. Or here, if we subtract, 8 minus 14 is minus 6 divided by 2. So that gives us... 22 by 2 is 11 and minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. So the roots of the equation are x equal to 11 or x equal to minus 3. Okay, now we will go to the second equation. The second equation is 4x squared plus 15x minus 4 equal to 0. Here, a is equal to 4, b is equal to 15, and c is equal to minus 4. So, using the quadratic formula, x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. If we substitute, we we'll have minus 15 plus or minus square root of 15 squared minus 4 times 4 times minus 4 all divided by 2 times 4 so this will give minus 15 plus or minus square root of the square of 15 is 225 so here we have 225 here we have a minus we also have a minus minus times minus gives us a plus so plus will be here 4 times 4 is 16 16 times 4 is 64 all divided by 2 by 4 is 8. So this is equal to minus 15. Sorry, minus 15. This is 15. Minus 15. Let me write on this side. Equal to minus 15 plus or minus square root of if we add the two numbers here 225 plus 64 we will have 289 all divided by 8 289 is a perfect square and the square root of 289 is 17 so this will give us minus 15 plus or minus 17 all over 
eight. So this implies that x is equal to minus fifteen plus seventeen all divided by two or minus fifteen minus seventeen all divided by eight. Sorry, this is eight, not two. So we will have minus 15 plus 17 is the same as 17 minus 15. So up here we will have 2. 2 over 8. And on this side we will have um, minus 32, which is gotten from adding minus 15 to minus 17 all divided by 8. So here 2 will cancel. We have 1 up here and here we have 4. Then here 8 divides 8, 1. 8 divides 32 is 4. So our result is x is equal to 1 over 4 or x is equal to minus 4. So these are the two roots of the quadratic equation. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos.